Hallelujah. 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 Ah, we thank God for today. We give glory to God, the King of King, the Lord of Lord, the omnipotent, omniscience, ever faithful Father. We return all glory, honor, and adoration back to you. Be thou exalted in Jesus' name. Ah, we are really experiencing storms now. There are storms going on where I am right now. That is why you are, we are delayed. There are some cut off lights. And there's uh, our, we say, Nepal is taking light because of the storm. Hallelujah. That is the joke of it. Hallelujah. So we thank God for another day. Today is the 32nd day in this praying and fasting period. And we exalt the holy name of God. We return all glory back to him, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the omnipotent, the omniscience, ever faithful father, the king that has been in for us and it will, that will never leave us. So we are giving glory to his name. We are thanking him for what he has done and what he will still do today. So brethren, we are going to be praying because of today's we have a lot of things to cover and the psalm that god has given unto us psalm 07 and um, before we start praying with the psalm we want to really exhort ourselves on the psalms and by the time we get into the real prayer points i will want you to pray very well i want you to pray very well so if you are hearing some sound that is all the sound, uh, the sound of the storm. We have a lot of storm going on here. So just, but we know with God, all things are possible. We are protected by him. Even where I am now, the place is shaking. But we know God is the one that has been our God and he will not leave us alone. Hallelujah. So brethren, we know God bless you for joining us. I assure you, God bless you for joining us. And for people that are already online, we thank you for joining us. We thank you for what you are doing and what you do. Oh, we give glory to God. I assure you, God bless you. And for people that are already on our YouTube channel, we say thank you very much for joining us today. Hallelujah. 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 So if you are there, I just want you to start praising God. He said, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. If you know you are one of the redeemed of the Lord, if you know you are one of us that God has redeemed, I know you, I know you are, why don't you just say so? Why don't you thank, thank God that God, I am, thank you for giving us like, like, love, and share. Give us more like and love and share. He said, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. He said, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. So, if you know God is re has really worked in you to give you all those great things that he has promised you, so just keep on saying, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God bless you. Uh, Supreme Evangelist Shegun Tunobu, the shepherd in charge of Unipetes Parish. God bless you for joining us. God bless you for joining us. Uh, God bless you. God bless you. And as you have joined today, I pray that God will not leave you and will not leave us in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. And as we used to say, today is the 32nd day. Hallelujah. We are going to 46 days. And now we are already in 32. So we, basically we have only 14 more days. And the 14 more days that we are talking about, we are saying Easter, Easter period. So, and we thank God for being with us not leaving us and is working with us and we thank god that as he has promised that he will increase our strength not only increasing our strength that we will not by any means go through any spiritual embargo so that is what god has done for us so hallelujah we thank god for the mercy that sure mercy of David that God has given unto us. So as you are online right now, I just want you to say so. That we say, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. What are you supposed to be saying? 
by thanking him for his mercy endureth forever, for his goodness endureth forever, for everything that he has given unto you endureth forever. Beginning to thank him, begin to thank him now. Oya bless in the quello lorum, Nitorique only jet kiawa, any rapada lorum, co sobe, any rapada lorum, any rapada lorum, Nemi, Oya jacabes in your long logo, my logo, Fuan no at your affair, Masokulu or show. Father Lord, I thank you. I return all glory and honor back to you because you are my God. Jupelo Olorun, before we start giving the prayer point, I want you to exalt the, the name of God, the mighty name of God. The redeemed is only the redeemed that can say so. It's only those ones that God has redeemed. They are the only one that can say so. So, and if you know you are one of the redeemed, why don't you say, Father, I thank you? Why don't you say, Father, I give you glory? Why don't you give him the glory? Why don't you give him the honor? Why don't you exalt his holy name? The redeem of the Lord. Can you just open your mouth and say, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Agbe yinga funwa kati yi e yon lor nwa adupe awa neni rakpada. I want you to rakpada. Toti shilogo, awa toti rakpada. Toti shilogo, toti funi ogore agbe oga uluwa a yin logo, a she yin loba awa yin rakpada. A nipi o shi baba, a ni baba o shi on o lor nwa o shi on, o ba o ba o shi on just keep on giving him that praise. Honor him in the beauty of his holiness, give him the praise, give him the shout out. God, I thank you. Father, Lord, I say thank you, Lord. Father, Lord, I say thank you, Lord. Aru God, you are shown. Adagbamate pa is shown. Ah, ah, obatin jemine is shown. Father, Lord, you say thank you, Lord. Ma adukwe, ma yin logo. Ma adukwe, ma yin logo. Because you are already redeemed. You are one of the redeemed of the Lord. You want, what jenin yakwada. Ati, ati rakwada. Ati da oni ide, kuro nenu yu konju, ati je ki oju rere olon ko shiko, ko mole se lara. That is why you have to say thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. As the redeemed of the Lord, can you just open your mouth and thank him. Ma adupe, ma adupe, ma anyi logo, ma adupe, ma anyi logo. Thank him for what he has done. Thank him for what he is going to do. Oh, today is a, is, is going to be another wonderful day because God is there to walk with you like a mighty terrible one just open your mouth and start thanking him ma dupe ma dupe ma dupe ma dupe ma dupe eni rapada olorun o ya so pe oluwa oseun oluwa oseun oluwa oseun oluwa oseun oluwa oseun baba ose olorun ya no seun oba oba ose oba to to si ose oba to to gbigba ose olorun a no seun ose baba ose omo ose emi mimo ose baba ose omo O she mimimo, o she baba, o she omo, o she mimimo, o go ni furu kore, o go ni furu kore, o go ni furu kore, baba adupe lo wore, agbe yinga, a she yin lo ba, ma adupe, ma adupe, ma adupe, ma adupe, ma adupe, ma adupe, in Jesus, mighty name we praise, amen, in Jesus, mighty name we praise, amen, in Jesus, mighty name we praise, Amen. Hallelujah. So let us look at what God has for us today. Quickly, because there is storm where I am, and there is, this storm is going as it's going, so we don't know what it's going to cause. It might take the light off, and it might take things off. Sometimes it takes off the roof, but we thank God because still we are in a safe place. Hallelujah. He said, let the redeem of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from the hand from the hand of the enemy, and when it at your rapada, lower water, and when it at your rapada, lower water, and I know God, God has redeemed you. God has redeemed you he from the hand of the enemy. He has redeemed you from the hand of the enemy. So that is why you have to what thank him. So you as a redeemed, what is it? What are, is God expecting from you? As redeemed of the Lord, what is He expecting from you? The redeemed of the Lord that He calls you is He wants you to do what? To praise Him, to praise Him, to praise Him, to praise Him, to give Him the glory, to honor Him, to say, Father Lord, I thank you. 
fun ore to se fun e lati pe lorun fun aanu tori gba that is why he called you redeem and let, let us look at what he has done i won ko ti olorun ti se i won ko to olorun ti se to fi lati fi dupe i won ko to olorun ti se to lati fi yin logo look at verse 3 and gather them out of the out, out of the lands from east west north and from the south they wandered in the wilderness in a solitary way they found no city to dwell in i don't know if you are one of those people that has no city to dwell in i don't know if you have been troubled by the enemy if the enemy has been pushing you around i don't know what must have happened but what god is saying is that as the redeemed of the lord that you should say so you should do what you should give him the praise you should give him the honor you should you should adore him as the redeemed of the lord as the redeemed of the lord that you should what you should which you should appreciate him for what he has done hallelujah 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 that is what god is saying that if you are really the redeemed of of god that you see look at taking you from one place to another giving you that glory that you 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 asked for even the one that you didn't ask for god is giving you those glory it is not by your might it is not by power it is just by the grace of god hallelujah it is the grace of god that has found you out a ori of any olon fi wa o si lo fi se aware e so ori of any olon lo fi fi dupe lo olon pe oluwa ti ki ba se ori of e what can you what can we be saying now if it's not the grace of god what can you do it is by the grace that you are doing what you are doing today hallelujah and it is by the grace that we are doing what we are doing today it's not that we are competent or we are better than those who that god has taken away but his grace is grace is so marvelous in our life hallelujah ti ori ofe ba po ninu aye wa ni e fi won pe ani lati yin logo ju bi ta te wa lo so look at what he, he did up for them and what he's doing for you when they were hungry and when they were thirsty he filled their soul and their soul were not fainted they did not die in only in the wilderness he made sure that he kept them alive throughout their wandering throughout their wandering in the wilderness he kept them alive hallelujah and what are we looking at today concerning you in your own wilderness in your own way in the way that the enemy thought that you cannot do anything you cannot amount to anything then you see god has been god has been your help God has been your help. God has been your help. Oh, so hallelujah. And that is why God is talking to you today. God is just talking to you that you need to say thank you, Father, as you redeemed of the Lord. Gege bi eni rakpada olorun. Gege bi eni ti arakpada. Gege bi eni ti arakpada. Oh, hallelujah. Because God has redeemed you from all, from all, the things that has happened to you and that is why you have to say thank you father hallelujah not only that let's look at other things that god did unto you look at that verse that he took them away from their what bondage such as sit in that so he took them away from bondage they were the the enemy bound them they said they cannot go the enemy said they cannot live where they are but through the help of god ni pa oro fe baba ohun ni o fi lo fi lo fi si won sile won fi sheke sheke won fi gbe won fi de won pe won ko le kuro sugbon olorun yo won kuro ninu ipinu iku he remove them from the dead from death he remove them from darkness and from the affliction because they are bound by iron most people might be free physically in their heart but spiritually they are bound the enemy bound them and they didn't know that they are already bound by the enemy and when they try to do something they find out that they couldn't do it that is the enemy operating that is the power of the enemy operating in your life and that is what god is telling you that he took you out he took you out from all hallelujah now let us look at the next one before we start praying we are going to be praying very soon. 
looked at another thing that he did for them. Said, then said they then they cry unto the Lord. I am on verse 13. They cry unto the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them out of their distresses. Uh -uh. But we have a psalm that said that I want to follow and that I need be and that is Psalm 118. But look at this one. He's telling them what he's telling us what really happened and how God brought them out of all their troubles and their distresses. And that is what God is doing for you today. Sixteen said that he broke in the gate of brass. <laughs> and I told you earlier that they were what? They were taken captive and they were shamed. Look at what and he what? He broke in the gate of brass and cut the bars of iron in thunder. Oh, who can now say that God is not awesome? Talu was a long while to be a biolon ko niagara. Verse 32 said that let them exhort him also in the congregation of the people, praise him in the assembly of the elders. He turned rivers. <laughs> into a wilderness and the water springs into a dry land a fruitful land into barrenness and this are what he did to, to our enemy i'm going to say for our attorney i want to say yes i want to say yes you are just a cool oh they monkey book oh they eat oh they force in a book as he did if you if you remember when anna was praising god he said she said that he god made those people that Thought they are powerful, it make them powerless. And then people that people look at as these are not people of power, he raised them up. That even a barren asked seven, and he, she that said she asked children now became mother of none. Hallelujah! So we can see what he's talking, what he is saying concerning the situation, what he is saying concerning what God is really doing. And that is why God is speaking to you, God is speaking to me, that he is the only one that can break that bar. He is the only one that can break it. And is, today, God will surely break it for you in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Don't forget as you are joining us, help us to share it, like it. Share and like, share and like, so that we can all be in the same page. Share it, share it, share it, share it among your Contact so that we can all be on the same page. Hallelujah. So we are moving forward. We want to pray now. We want to start praying. We want to start praying. The first prayer I want you to render unto God is just thank Him. Father Lord, I thank you. The God that can that can do all things, that is always doing things that nobody can do. Oh, yeah, you go. Father Lord, I thank you. Father Lord, I give you glory. Father Lord, I thank you. Father Lord, I give you glory. Father Lord, I give you glory. Father Lord, I give you glory. It is just by that grace that God has been working with us. Can you just thank him? Can you thank him? Can you thank him? Can you just keep on saying, Father Lord, thank you. Holy Lord, show. Holy Lord, show. Holy Lord, show. Holy Lord, show. Oh, my Father Lord, alone. That is the first prayer point that we are rendering right now. Talk to God that, Father Lord, I thank you for being with me and not leaving me alone. Now we are moving forward. Hallelujah. Oh, now you want to pray, oh Lord. Jehovah, let your mercy endure forever upon me. Jehovah, Father, let your mercy, let it endure forever in my life. Baba, Jeki Anure. Oh, can we start praying? Father, let your mercy endure forever in my life. Let your mercy, oh Lord, let it endure forever in my life. Let your mercy endure forever in my life. Anu biboro, anu biboro, hola wa fi fumi. Anu biboro, hola wa fi fumi. Anu biboro, hola fi fumi. In Jesus, mighty name we pray. Amen. 
Father, give directions to my life. Holwa, fi communion or tibo magba. Holwa fi or no homi ni no ni no ni no ayemi. Don't let us forget that Sam was pointing at when the children of Israel left, when they don't even have a dwelling place, they don't know where to go. But God did something. He gave them, He gave them a direction. I want to pray now, Father. Oh, give direction to my life. Let your direction work in my life. And don't let us forget that they that are led by the Spirit of God are called the children of God. Leading of the of God is the direction of God. So follow on. Father, direct me aright, O Lord. Direct me aright, O Lord. In this journey, O Lord, Father, direct me aright. O Yama, so follow on. Oh, so follow on. O Lord, direct me, O Lord. Let your direction be upon me. Let me experience your divine direction. Let me experience your divine direction. In Jesus' mighty name, Father, let me experience your divine direction. Let me experience your divine direction. In the name of Jesus, let me experience your divine direction. In the name of Jesus, let me experience your divine direction. In the name of Jesus, He is the only one that can give direction. Father, let me experience your divine direction. In the name of Jesus, Father, let me.